That a boy. Let's go. That's Cyrus in the bag. Easy. Easy. All right. How do we beat this thing? Y'all, y'all, so, so you know, the best defense is running away. <laughs> All right, I need to get a Healy Heal, uh, and then we go to get maybe more encounters? Oh, I guess we just go to Route 218 next time. Okay, I need a counter for, oh, it's probably just Porygon. He's got Solar Beam, at the very least, so that he could use that, I suppose. Um, but he's also got some other moves, and I think he learns Tri-Attack by now, I hope. Jeez. Um, and then I think we also bring Scyther, because there's a lot of Machokes. I guess we have our Starly, too, so there's also that. Yep, I think this is the squad. Okay, let's heal our guys. Then we're off to Route 222. Nah, Wise Glasses is probably better. Okay, let's, uh, er, uh, let's do this. How's everyone doing out there? Everyone doing good? I think the goal is, the very least, to get to the gym. God, I hope this guy doesn't have something stupid. Oh, uh, well, I can't escape now. Cover your bases. Okay. I shouldn't do too much. Get wrecked. That was a crit. <laughs> oh, no. Um... I can't do anything. I can't actually can't do anything. Can I not use struggle? Do I have to use 20 of these? Oh, let's see. I might just be screwed. How is it hitting? It needs to be paralyzed more. This I'm actually going to die. Freaking choice specs. I, I, I actually just killed my Magnemite. I'm pretty sure. Come on. I'm not sure if I can struggle. Okay, we're about to learn something. If, okay, I die, I just die. I actually just killed my steel for no reason, in case anyone wants to know. Why, I didn't even have to do that. It was so stupid. Why? Choice specs. Choice specs, man, I forgot. Forgot. And then Magnapole screwed me. This is like a random tw level 27 Porygon. It's level, t it's level 27. It also got like paralyzed like three times for the record. I have no words for myself right now. I can't believe I just lost steel to something so unfathomably stupid. Bruh. That's gonna, I'm gonna clip the out of that. <laughs> that 
That was my only other electric Pokemon, by the way. Uh, you can't steal. No, stop. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the item. Steal. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Magnapole. I do still have Ghastly. I have Pichu, so I guess I do have an electric type that I now have to level up. <laughs> Wow. Uh. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just did that. We are at the next route. I feel like the Kangaskhan um, Q Bone lore is like super legit. Um. Also, I don't think I get any encounters here. Just as a heads up, I'm going to double check. I think my only valid ones are Magikarp, which we've already gotten. Remoraid is valid. Um, we already have a Tentacool and a Wingle. And then Honey Trees. Uh, Skitty isn't Swarm, but that's post-game. Uh, Electabuzz is not valid because it's elec Elected. Uh, Magnemite, RIP our brother. Um, and then everyone else is an Evo. Chatot is a single for me, so... That's all we got. That's all she wrote. Whoops, that's two words. Sure is, buddy. Ooh, it's Flint. Hello, Flint of the Elite Four. Okay, prep for the gym time. Let's go. Um, okay. I kind of think it would be fun to bring an entire team of people who didn't get affected by Sandstorm. I think that would be try fun to try and do that. Um, I'm just trying to see if any of these guys have any moves that would play around it. I don't think so. Uh, oh, we can, actually, because <laughs> everyone... Rivalry. Um, everyone... Do you guys remember how in Diamond and Pearl, uh, this guy had like two guys that weren't anything? True. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I think I can actually just do this entire... We're going to make a sand team for this gym. How's that sound? That sounds fun to me. This technically is a ground type. <laughs> Sandstorm is ground rock and what... Hold on, my wife's calling me. She called to ask what dinner was and was disappointed. Does not damage rock, ground, and steel. Right. We're going full ground type, boys. <laughs> Should be fun. We gotta, okay, we gotta level them up to level 48. So let's get that out of the way. Give them a battle so hot. It will reignite his passion for battling. Sure, Flint, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, um... Also, one of the nice things about, uh... Uh, so... Some fun... F a fun fact about, um... What's his face? Uh, what's it... Who is it? Um, Vulcaner's Luxray is it has rivalry. Which means, if I'm a female Pokemon, its attack is halved. And so Brownos and Granite versus that thing is like, absolutely primo. It's like, lead with Nickel, get up a Stone Edge, or get up get up Rocks, use Trick Room, switch to Brown Nose, and then just like, crush it. You know what I mean? I should probably, what I'll probably do is I'll give Nickel a, uh, don't be paralyzed, Barry, because it has Thunder Wave. We got the next gym. Uh, we got Sunny Shore. We're gonna hit it up real quick. You know, uh, I think we've given everyone their vitamins. I'm pretty sure we have. Yes, because Frostbite got stuff. Uh, this is an entire sand team. So we just got a sand team. People who are not affected by Hippopotas' sand stream. And so we're just gonna hit the gym up right away and kind of get it going, you know? Time to solve a puzzle. What do you say? 
easy puzzle. Okay, this first one is a small child with a Pachirisu. I'm pretty sure. Pachirisu has won the world championship, so we do need to be a little bit careful on this 1v6 uh, type advantage team. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'll keep my eyes peeled there, Raven. <laughs> For sure, keep my eyes peeled. Good, that's glad, I'm glad. I'm glad. Ba -na -na. Pachi Risu, the world champ difference maker. She does have a hyper potion. So we do have to be careful. This will do 50% of my health. We just get swept by Apache. Could you imagine if this if this hyper advantage team got swept by this Pokemon? <laughs> I feel like I would have to end my Nuzlocke career in shame and disappointment. It would be much embarrassment. Too much to recover from, if I'm being honest. Legends ZA might not come out until late 2024. Didn't they say it's late 2024? Am I crazy? Oh, it says tw it says 2025. Oh, oh my gosh! I didn't even realize that. That'd be crazy. I, so my my thinking on that was um, nice get wrecked. My theory or my thought process on the ZA games was that it would come out like early next year, and then a year after that, we probably get Gen 10. Not when in 2025, just 2025. Well. I think my suspicion for it being early 2025 was that there's a the Switch 2 potentially is releasing early 2025 and having a uh, like a big title like a Pokemon title ready to go at launch for that seems like a no brainer. But they, I mean, Nintendo is not known for launching new systems with titles available right away. So who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, this is it's genuine. It's a little bit of a mystery. I I think I'm hopeful for um, uh, eight, early 2025, but I guess it could be later. I, I, I actually don't know. I'm probably just making up that I heard early 2025, but when did Scarlet and Violet release? Twenty twenty two. When did Sword and Shield release? It was 2019. So, I mean, the mainline games are every three years. And Legends Arceus did release beginning 20, right? When did Legends Arceus come out? Uh, January 2022, and then... So Legends Arceus released 2022, and then the main game released later that year. Yeah, I agree. It feels like that that would make a lot of sense. Um, and then, and then. I also prefer a late release. I, my personal opinion is that Nintendo needs or Game Freak needs to. Well, I guess Ninte Pokemon Company, Nintendo, Game Freak, some amalgamation of that blob needs to slow down their release cycle. I'll take a mainline Pokemon game every four years. Like, just have it be released for a year, and then at one year, release DLC at half a year. Or sorry. So like, at one year after it's been out, DLC one. Six months after that, DLC two. Six months after that, which is two years after release, DLC three. And so then you get like the game over that full year. Year three, you get like a ZA or some alternate game for them to play where they can get some new formies and like all that stuff. 
And then uh, at year four, you whip out the... Uh, at year four, you whip out new mainline games. Okay, so this is School Kid Forest. Thunderbolt, Tri-Tech, Mirrorshot, Mirrorshot. We still have Dig because we don't have Earthquake yet. Personally, I would hope we get a, a PMD game announced in August since Spike Chunsoft would be heading that up instead of Game Freak who can just fully focus on Legends ZA. Get a PMD. Oh yeah, that too. Nice rival. I don't I don't mind having a nice rival. It's just I also need a not like an actual challenging rival. I feel like Nimono was a really good rival in that regard where like um Oh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Ah, yeah, good call. We haven't had a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game in a while. Um, that could be fun as well. Kind of feels like Legends ZA might have taken over that, but I feel like they should probably release on Mystery Dungeon or something. Um, yeah, they can release other games throughout the year, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not like mainline every four years does not feel like too often by any means. It's like iffy. Yeah, it's true. I haven't played Explorers of Sky. That's been like the one that like, I I really liked uh, like the first ones that they had. I played those. I didn't play the follow-ups and then Explorers of Sky was next and I've heard amazing things about Explor Explorers of Sky. So like, I feel like I should probably play that at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's on my personal to-do. Maybe I'll get the phone emulator and I can just do it on my phone or something, you know? That'd be fun. Explorers of the Sky seems to be the unanimous pick for best mystery dungeon game. Unless I'm wrong. Unless you feel differently, Callie Mae, but I have a feeling that's what everyone seems to say about it at the very least. Okay. I think this will still... Oh, that's so special defense. Never mind. I gotta go heal after this room because I'm almost out of Earthquake PP. Almost out of PP. Almost out of PP. Power points. Was Super Mystery Dungeon on a different system, or was that on DS still? Yeah, that was still on, that was on 3DS. Okay. I feel like that's one I actually have. Do I own this game? I might own it. It might be saved on my DS. I don't know. Now I'm gonna check in a second. <laughs> Fight Earthquake. If you do a montage of all your Poké deaths, play Don't Ever Forget from PMD. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, I'll have to check that out later. <laughs> I have it up. I have it up though, but who knows about copyrights and things. Thunderbolt slam thunder wave quick attack. Okay. So we have does he have amulet coin? Yeah. We this guy has a Raichu, which we should be able to just to clear out again. Uh, earthquake. At least Sony kept the PS3 and PS Vita shops up due to fan backlash. 
Yeah, it's like, hmm, let's see, how do I put it? Um, it should still be like available to like get this. Like, I can't. Well, actually, no. There's it definitely costs money to like keep it up, and I'm not necessarily saying that they have to keep it up forever. But the problem comes in where like. There are games, I think the bigger problem realistically is like now that like there are some games that are out there that need an internet connection for you to be able to play them. Um, and it's just like, huh? <laughs> How's that supposed to work if you get rid of the thing that allows me to do that? Um, uh, let's see, Thunderbolt, Shockwave, Quick Attack, Iron Tail, Thunderbolt, Dig, ooh, this could be fun. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know, they just like, I don't know, they just, they just, like, ugh, oh, they kind of suck. <laughs> it just kind of sucks. Okay, this could be fun. This could give us a fun interaction. Ooh, Destiny. Streamer Destiny? Just kidding. Maybe, like, just for, like, December for the holidays. Hi, Haley. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. Is the gym free? I don't know, Vulc Vulcaner's coverage. Uh, the gym is likely free-ish. <laughs> uh, I, I can explain. Uh, there's like one calc that I think I'm going to run, but other than that, that's all I got. Good. Glad you're doing good. We are uh, taking on Vulcaner today and then heading up through Victory Road, I think. Um, Volkner's coverage in this game is not very good. He has all electric type in this game, so he doesn't have like a random normal type and an octillery for no reason. But, um, he ha he does have a guy with Ice Fang, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Um, streamer's going to cheat again. Pfft, nah. Um, Raichu. Okay, so this is fun. This Raichu has Dig, and if it uses Dig, and we use Earthquake, we still hit it. So I kind of, I'm really hoping it actually uses Dig because that would be fun. It used it. Okay. So now because it used Dig and we used Earthquake, it still hits and it super dies as if it wasn't already going to super die anyway. But now it like Omega dies because I think, it do, uh, does it do more damage? It might do more damage if you're an Earthquake, but it might just hit. I don't know. Earthquake does a lot of damage by itself. Yeah, so, okay, it does do double damage. Okay, not crazy. Not crazy. Very cool interaction. Don't evolve. No evolving. I forgot about that. How does Surf hit if you're underwater? I mean... I don't know if you've ever looked at the underwater cams on like, like I was watching surfing in the Olympics the other day. And if you're looking at a wave, giant wave coming in underwater, shit, the shit's going on under there. <laughs> Stuff is definitely happening. Um, so like, it makes sense if you think about it that way, but I agree that like at first thought, I definitely don't, I don't know if it makes <laughs> all the sense of the world, but. Here we are. Okay, nice, easy. This guy does have swagger, so I'm like a little bit afraid, but this gym so far is going pretty good. Um, <laughs> we're just like clearing out all of these trainers. Okay, swagger. So this is a little bit what I was worried about. Come on, Brownos. Brown nose comes in clutch as ever. She is a beauty with a brown nose. Let's go. Also, do you know how hard I have a I have a female hippopotas sprite in my in my thumbnail for this video, and it was I had to go on like deviant art deviant art to like find one. <laughs> The deviant deviant art or whatever it is. I had to go on that website to find one because apparently they don't just have one available. 
Whoopsie. I don't remember how to... How do I clear this children's puzzle? I can't go this way. I can't... Oh wait, I can just walk under here, that's right. <laughs> Stupid. Let's go. Itchy, itchy, itchy. My nose is really itchy today for some reason, I don't know why. Zachary sends out Electabuzz, Thunderbolt, Shockwave, Quick Attack, Iron Tail. Dig. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. Oh, Co. Got him. That's one down. Stop digging. But I'm digging their grave, you know? Indigo, so beastly. So bossly. Another dig. Dig, dig, dig. When I get Earthquake, I will teach him Earthquake, Callie Mae, and then he won't have to dig anymore. That's a promise. You heard it from me. Unless Earthquake gives it amazing cover or doesn't give it amazing or gives something else like unfathomable coverage which it needs which i doubt that's the case but you never know i suppose <laughs> gotta go over here oh here i am i'm out of here okay and then i'm pretty sure i just have to step on one of these right i go back up Yep, and then I go to Volkner. Okay, so now we gotta heal. Okay. We are ready. We are facing Volkner. We have our strategy. It is time to take on the final gym of Pokemon Platinum. <laughs>